In this video, we'll go over Excel Crash Course for Statistics Part 2. We'll look at performing basic calculations using Excel formulas, copying formulas, relative references, and absolute references. I want to show you how to do calculations in Excel. You can change any cell into a calculator by putting in an equal sign first. And I can type in using regular numbers and mathematical operators. So if I want to add x plus y, I can do that by hand. If I want to do x times y, I can do that by hand as well. and any other mathematical operation that you would like to use. However, if I change the values in any of my cells, these calculated values do not update. I can use references. Instead of typing in 1 plus 1, I can click on the cells containing the values that I want to add. I can also type in the cell reference. Notice that column B, row 2, is what I would want to add here. And I'll make this also one in the contents of the cell. Now when I change the values in my cells here, my calculations update automatically. Another great thing about Excel is that if I want to do that to all the pairs of data, I can copy this formula down relatively. I can change my cursor to copy mode once a cell has been selected by hovering over the bottom right corner where there's a little green square called the copy handle. I can just click and drag, or I can double click. I can also copy multiple formula cells at once by selecting the range and then double clicking. I can also copy formulas horizontally. So let's say in this cell I'd like to have the total of all these x values added together. There's a function called the sum. Now anytime you want to use a pre-built Excel formula, if you just type in a couple of letters, there'll be some recommendations. And as you click on each one, there's a description. Notice that this one says it adds all the numbers in a range of cells. So I'm going to double click that and select the range of cells that I want. Remember that if your cell looks like a, or excuse me, if your cursor looks like a white cross, it's in select mode. I'm going to go ahead and highlight that, and I'll put a border around it. Now, if I want to copy this so that all these get added together here in this cell, and likewise for the rest of the columns, I can copy that formula sideways, and the formatting usually comes with it. I can also copy formatting by selecting right-click copy, then select the range of cells that you want to copy the formatting to. And instead of doing a regular paste, you're going to select the one with the paintbrush. Now, when the ants are running around, it's been copied to your clipboard. If you want to get rid of that, you can just kind of double click around until it goes away. We've talked about relative references. Now I'd like to talk about absolute references. So let's say I have another variable called W, and I'm going to give it the value of 1. But I want to be able to refer to this cell and add W to it in a way that no matter what's in this cell, the values will update. So 
I'm going to do the first x value plus w. Enter. Now, if I copy this down, notice that it has 1 plus 1 is 2, right? Now, the next one, if it copies correctly, should be 4 plus 1 is 5. But notice that when I copy down, it stays at 4. That's because there's nothing in this cell. And when I relatively copied the formula, the cell, or excuse me, the row reference changed relatively. So instead, what I want is an absolute reference for the F2, the W value. So after clicking on the cell that you want to make absolute, you're basically putting a pin in it so it won't shift. You can put in dollar signs in front of the column reference and the row reference by hand, or a shortcut is after clicking on the cell, press the F4 key on your keyboard and press enter. Now when I copy this down, every single x value over here has increased by one here and if i change the value in my w cell all of those update accordingly i can also again copy over the previous calculation there so that covers everything i wanted to go over with you in this lesson i hope to see